All right, this is a quick and dirty step-by-step uh, -step process explaining how to do the TX PID tuning in OpenPilot. Uh, I am assuming that this is the same in LibrePilot, which what I've read little about is kind of the uh, continuation of OpenPilot. So here we go. This is how I set up uh, transmitter or TX PID tuning for my tweaker and my Krieger frame that I have which uh, both have the CC3D EVO flight controller in them. So, you can see I've already got the tweaker plugged in. I've got OpenPilot up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into configuration. Now I'm assuming that uh, you already have your transmitter set up. Um, I don't know what kind of transmitter you might have, but one thing that's important I'm using uh, my Spectrum DX8. It has a trim pot right up here. You'll need something with a slider or a knob to set an accessory up in OpenPilot uh, so that you can actively change the PIDs one at a time uh, to find your UOV, which is your unique oscillation value. And uh, you'll see that'll come into play later uh, in a calculator that will spit up some PID values back at you once you put in your ESC type, your flying style, and your unique oscillation values that you're going to find. So you're going to need a transmitter or radio with um, a, uh, a slider or a pot like this, okay? So if you don't have that, Maybe you can borrow somebody's to temporarily bind it and uh, get this set up for you. All right, so I set mine up. You can see right here. I set mine up in accessory zero and made sure it works. So get your transmitter set up and set up one of your accessories. Mine, I just chose zero uh, at channel eight using that, uh, uh, that knob I have there on my Spectrum DX8 radio. All right, so next you're going to go into the stabilization. And I, for some reason, I know this is a little fluke here, but it always goes back to basic configuration. I always go into use advanced configuration. Uh, I'm going to recommend that you set this here to enable TPS and set your curve here. Um, this is kind of, kind of important here. Uh, so for mine, I have 0, 0 negative 0.03, negative 0.12, and negative 0.23. These are the PID settings right now that I got spit back at me from doing this uh, uh, transmitter PID tuning. What you're going to need to do is you're going to set proportional on roll to 300 or 0 0.00300. Same thing for pitch. and your yaw is going to be 350. Integral is going to be 0 for everything. 0, 0, except for yaw, which is going to be 350 as well. And your derivative is going to be 0 for everything. Okay? Alright, so you can see that there. 300 for roll proportional. 300 for pitch, proportional, and yaw is 350 for proportional. Integral is 0 and 0 for pitch and roll, and 350 for yaw, and derivatives are all 0. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now you're going to go into the TX PID tuning. First thing you're going to want to do is enable TX PID tuning. You're going to set this to PID bank 1 because if you noticed when we went into our attitude, I hit no, it's safe right now, or yes to proceed, uh, we were in settings bank 1. So I'm going to go into TXPID, enable TXPID, bank 1, instance. You're going to first do roll rate KP. Control source, I set up my accessory zero. My min value is going to stay at 3000. I'm going to turn the max to 20,000. Leave the throttle range at 0.20 and 0 
in update mode when armed. Leave that the same. Now notice when you hit save, it's going to give a little red X. Okay. Basically what you have to do, because it didn't save there, you get a check mark if you did, is disconnect. I'm going to unplug. Wait, they say wait about 30 seconds, but I found you don't always need it that much. I'm going to plug back in. And this is just kind of a little fluky thing that goes on here. It should automatically connect. Enable. Let's see if it takes it this time. And it's saved. Okay. I like to go back into my attitude and double check my settings. Make sure this use advanced configuration is checked again. Hit save and disconnect. All right. So basically, what you're going to do now is uh, you're going to put on a battery. Turn on your radio, put on a battery, and uh, of course make sure it binds. You have to be in attitude mode. All right, so this is another thing we have to talk about. When you go into your input, go into your flight mode switch settings. I have mine set up for a three position switch. Position one, two, and three. Actually, we have to connect it again so you can see how I have this set up. I have mine set up stabilize one, two, and three. Stabilize one, I have rate mode. Stabilize two, I have acro. And stabilize three, I have attitude, attitude, axis lock. Okay? So know what position you set that up for on your controller. My example all the way back is my attitude, middle's acro, towards me's rate. Alright? So you want to make sure you're in attitude or, or auto leveling mode for this. Okay? So basically what you're going to do now is you're going to disconnect. You're going to hover at about head level. Make sure you don't have any wind or anything. Again, in attitude mode. And uh, once you got it hover hovering in front of you, you're going to raise slowly your slider or your pot until your quad will start to oscillate. All right? If it starts oscillating wildly, you're going to want to back it off a little bit. Okay? I always kind of get it to where just where it starts oscillating. I don't want it to get crazy. Leave this the same. Do not move it back. All right? You are actively adjusting your PID value for your roll rate in the beginning. Okay? Now when you go plug it back in, what you'll find is this 300 will change to a value. Okay, something different might be 412 or something. Okay, that's your unique oscillation value. Grab a notepad, take a note. All right, so my roll UOV, let's just say it was 412. Okay, you're going to change this back to 300, put your slider all the way back, hit save. Go back in the TXPID tab, change your roll rate KP to pitch rate KP, save, disconnect, and go do the same thing. Just bring it all the way back to the beginning and move it upward slightly as you're hovering at about head level in attitude mode until it starts oscillating again. All right. Do not move this back. Plug it back in, leave the battery plugged in as you're doing this, all right? And you'll get a change in value on your pitch, all right? Let's just say pitch UOV. Let's just say it was 350, all right? I'm just throwing stuff out, all right? Now, that's all you got to do there. So what I do is I go back and I change this all to 300, 300, you know, back to the, what we set them at the before, hit save. Go to TXPID and disable TXPID tuning. We're done with that. All right. Going to save and disconnect. Now what you're going to do, and I can send this to anybody that wants it, you're going to bring up this Excel spreadsheet. And we maximize this here. It's basically, there's four steps. You can select your flight style. Mine's four for racer. ESC type, I use one-shot active, active braking, so I'm going to put a value of four in here. 
yaw type, I'm aggressive with my yaw, so I use four. Now, you notice right here, there's those unique oscillation values, okay? Last time I did this on my tweaker, my unique oscillation value was 00348. My pitch unique oscillation value was 0 .00467. Once I put those values in there and I tab out or hit enter, it's gonna kick back calculated pits for me. Notice I've got my roll, pitch, and yaw, KP, KI, and KD, all right? So I put those values back in my open pilot, All right, connect, go into your settings and put those back right there, okay? Now, for these values here, at the top here, I like to have a little bit aggressive here. So basically what these mean is how it's gonna respond in rate mode. Uh, when you have your, uh, you know, roll, pitch, or yaw at max value. How many degrees is it going to spin in one second? All right. Same with your rate and your attitude. At least just values I found that work for me. Uh, your setup is obviously going to be completely different. All right. But it might give you something to go off of here. Do not link roll and pitch here. Uh, but this is basically what I use here for outer loop. 3.78, 3.79, and 9.480 and zeros for everything down below, okay? Do not link roll and pitch over here. Do not enable pyro at compensation, all right? And you should be good to go. Hopefully this helps you out. I'm gonna upload this to the uh, Facebook page, and uh, obviously, and I will also upload the document, the Excel document for you. If you have any questions, let me know.